Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another episode of Sneaker Talk where we talk about the latest sneaker releases, sneaker leaks and news, and just sneakers in general. In today's episode, we've got to talk about a dunk that is releasing as a part of a three dunk pack called the Team Colors Pack. Now, the first dunk that we have to talk about today that is releasing first out of the pack is the Nike Dunk Low SP Brazil colorway. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The pack is not called the Team uh, Colors Pack. It's called the Team Tones Pack. Yes. So Nike is releasing a pack of dunks. They're releasing three in this pack over a period of about a month. And this Thursday, we are getting our first one from that pack, which is the Brazil colorway. Now, you're probably wondering, oh, Daniel, why don't you cover it closer to the release date? Well, and normally I would, but the problem is, is that with Thursday, we have the Supreme Weekly drop, and then Friday, we've got the Palace drop, and Wednesday, um, Wednesday's generally a day where I like to pump out the Supreme videos, so I want to do it this early just so we have it covered, like, well beforehand, but we'll also dive into today the pack and when the other ones are expected to release and when those other ones are expected to release you know part two and part three we'll cover those when they get closer to the release date as well yes so let's just quickly touch on the team tones pack so nike is doing this pack the first one to release is the brazil colorway and what i quite like about the advertisement for the team tones pack is that they've done this like retro old looking advertisements for each of them it tells you all the sizes when the release date is i think it's very well thought out here now out of all of the dunks releasing in this pack the uh only dunk in this pack that is a two-tone dunk is the university red that is coming out as part two i think let me just quickly reconfirm that with my notes uh yeah number two so part two of the team tones pack on the 12th of the 6th so next month we are getting the university reds and then uh 12 days later after the um university reds we are then getting the champ colors as well as part three so yeah it's a little bit weird because the brazils are releasing significantly well before this part th two and three are and part two and three have a gap of 12 days when the universe uh sorry when the brazils are like on the 21st and from my calculations that's more than 12 days between the 21st of may and the 12th of june so I don't know, they've left it, they've, they're pushing it quite early. But honestly, we should just cover the actual, you know, release details from this Hypebeast article that I have prepared for us today. And then I can dive into all my thoughts and opinions on the actual colorway and anything else to do with that. So uh, before we head over there, guys, make sure that you leave this video a big old like, a comment in the comment section, and a subscribe to the channel if you want me to cover more Dunk releases. We are also trying to aim for 2,200 subs by the end of May. Can we hit it? I hope so. But enough of that, let's head on over to the Hypebeast article that I have prepared for us today to cover the first shoe releasing in the Team Tones pack, which is the Nike Dunk Low SP Brazil. Ah, here it is. Look at this thing, man. This is a, this is a nice shoe. This is a nice shoe. And it looks very nice on the aged pairs as well from, I think... I think the... Um, maybe not the original, but one of the... Um, I know the original, uh, maybe it is the original. Did the original come out in the early 2000s? I'm a little bit sketchy on my Dunk colorway knowledge. There's a lot of colorways that are, are in the Dunks, so I always forget when they come out. I think the original Brazils came out in the early 2000s, but don't quote me on that. I'm not a huge Dunk sweat. I don't <laughs> I don't know Dunks like the back of my hand, you know? I'm more of a, more of a Jordan 1 guy. So I, I'm learning about the Dunks, but I don't know when the like certain colorways came out in certain years unless they're like really monumental dunks but this is a very very clean colorway but um yeah what we'll do is we'll dive into the release details that the article has for us here so a closer look at the nike dunk low sp brazil a south american inspired take on the classic sneaker nike recently announced that it will be releasing the dunk low sp in three new colorways as a part of its team tones pack uh, we just covered all of them that are releasing in that pack so we're taking a closer look today at the Brazil, a combination ahead of it dropping. An icon, an icon in the world of basketball attire, this latest South American inspired iteration of the iconic Dunk Low sneaker 
comes in a varsity maze and pine green colorway. The sneaker features a streamlined tongue that is part of the silhouette since its birth in the mid 80s in 85, the exact, as well as smooth leather upper and a court driven sole unit. Nike also unveiled the University Red, which as I mentioned is the only two-tone one in this pack and in that is part two, and the Champ Colors, which is part three there, that are set to be released on the 12th of June and the 24th respectively. Priced at 85, I think that's pounds? I think that's pounds? Not too sure. Either way, it's 100 USD, about 200 Australian bucks. Uh, the Nike Dunk Low SP Brazil are to be released on May 21st via the End Web Store. So if you actually go on the End Web Store now, you can sign up for the raffle. You can sign up for the raffle of these. Uh, will they be dropping on Nike sneakers? Um, unconfirmed. Unconfirmed. I hope so, but I honestly don't know. I haven't checked the Nike website. I probably should have done that beforehand, but I don't know if they're going to be releasing there. They're releasing on End though, and I've checked the raffle is still up. And obviously here's the end Instagram post announcing that it's being released there. So I assume it's going to be released in other places besides end, but I honestly won't, won't be able to tell you with confidence on where else it'll be releasing. I would just check your regular boutiques. I mean, if end is getting it in, I assume places like sneakers and stuff are going to get it in. You would just have to look around, just do a little bit of shopping and stuff like that, and you'll be able to pick them up there. But um, yeah, all round, I mean, for a hundred USD, you can never say no to a pair of dunks, right? easy 100 bucks nice leather shoe nice colors uh this is a tritone one so tritone meaning three colors yellow green and white white because the midsole there uh it's it's just clean so, like you can't go wrong with this this is a lovely shoe very nice shoe to wear in warmer days and warmer weather you know nice um nice pop of color to an outfit and stuff like that it's good it's a good colorway. Uh, we'll dive into the final details here, but I'm um, going through the four photos that we have, and then that's about it. We'll sum it up there. So let's dive into the images and have a look at this Nike Dunk Low SP Brazil. Ooh, here they are. So the leather looks really nice. I can see some of the grain on it on the images here and on the toe box, which is always nice. Uh, it looks really nice and thick, nice detailing there. Now, as you may or may not notice, it doesn't have Nike SB on it because this is not the skateboard variant of the Dunk. This is the traditional basketball variant of the Dunk. So this is the one with the thinner tongue, thinner all round. Uh, it's a lot slimmer because it's obviously not got that extra padding and everything for the skateboarding version. I mean, you can still skate in them. That's how the whole Nike SB version of the Dunks came about. It's because skaters in the 90s were picking up Dunks and Jordan 1s and they were skating in them. And that's how the skating subdivision of Nike was born and that's how they've changed up the various versions of basketball shoes over the year to become skate shoes. Um, all in all though, I, I mean, I actually... I. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to pick them up, but uh, the biggest size dunks come in in a size US 15. Uh, this one is dropping up to a maximum size of US 15. I saw it on N store, so your boy's gonna miss out because he's literally one size bigger. Uh, I would love to buy dunks. I unfortunately just cannot because they don't come in my size. So, um, I just have to stick to my uh, Air Jordan 1s, uh, another pair of basketball shoes that came out in the same year uh, as the dunks originally. So you know what? I'm just gonna have to stick to those fellas because they're the only options that I have. But that's why I love the um, would love to see the Dunk colorways come over to the Jordan One. But I'm not at Nike. I'm not at Jordan brand. I can't make those decisions. <laughs> if I did, hell, I would retro the neutral gray ones for all the fellas out there that are asking for that. But yeah, nah. Oh well. Oh well. I've I've been dealt a card. I have to deal with it. So yeah. Just back to the shoe though. I um, have to sum it up. Awesome colorway. Love it. Simple colors, easy to wear, um, not a regular color combination that's used on sneakers, yellow and green, but it's it's really nice. And it looks, this particular model looks really, really nice, worn in and aged. Love that aesthetic added to the shoe. But yeah, I would say definitely this is a must cop for all the fellas out there that are size 15 or below. Definitely pick this one up. Lovely, lovely shoe. Um, and not one that you see too often. I'm glad that it's getting a retro, but um you want to pick it up it's 100 usd at end and i assume it's coming out at other boutiques as well uh let me know in the comment section below guys are you going to pick up this sneaker are you going to pick up the other ones in the pack are you more of a fan of the university reds that are coming out on the 12th of next month do you prefer the champ colors that are coming out on the 24th of the next month or 
Are you a little bit of a collector? You're a bit like me. You're just going to buy all three. <laughs> I know there's some of you out there. I know that you're definitely out there, but yeah. No, this is a really nice shoe. Uh, let me know all your thoughts and opinions about it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or as always, fellas, in that comment section below. That's really all I've got to say about them, guys. That is all the release details to do with the Nike Dunk Low SP Brazil colorway that is coming out this Thursday, 21st of May, 100 USD or 85 pounds, euros, whatever it was. <laughs> uh, or 200 Australian dollars. God, it sounds like so much, doesn't it? You know, 85, yeah, that's not too bad. 100, that's not too bad. Then you hit the Australian currency. 200. Oh, oh, God. Australian dollar. It never helps out. Anyway, uh, awesome colorway. Awesome colorway. Would love to pick it up. Can't. Feet are too big. Big feet problems. We've all heard it all before, but I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear, are you going to be picking this colorway up? It's so nice. It's a very nice colorway on a very nice silhouette. Picks both boxes. What else could you ask for? You know, very, very nice. But um, that's all I've really got to say about them, guys. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And if you want me to keep covering Dunks and Nike releases, don't forget to leave this video a big old like, comment in the comment section below, and a subscribe to the channel because we are trying to aim for 2,200 subs by the end of May. And I'm actually thinking we can maybe hit it. It's kind of a crazy target, but you guys are kind of crazy. You've been subbing like crazy. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. But yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. But uh, that's everything I have to say about the Nike Dunk Low SP Brazil releasing on May 21st for 100 USD or 200 Australian dollars. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And until the next Dunk video, until the next Nike video, until the next sneaker talk video, guys, I'll catch you later.